All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, my name is Kleber Basili. I'm CEO and founder of Sensidia. Sensidia is an API management platform provider. Um, and uh, most of our client, one third of our client actually, uh, relates to e commerce. So, e commerce marketplaces, uh, e commerce operations, uh, payments. So Black Friday is an important time, uh, an important and busy time for us. And uh, we just went through um, um, Black Friday uh, and uh, actually the, uh, the Black Week, so Black Friday and, and Cyber Monday. And uh, I put some thoughts together here to share with you some lessons we learned uh, this last season, okay? Uh, right, uh, let's move. So. Uh, before getting into the, the lessons, I'd like to share some facts about Black Friday. The first one, it's getting bigger. Uh, it used to be only an American thing related to the Thanksgiving. Uh, most of the countries in the world, they don't have Thanksgiving, but they are uh, importing this tradition uh, related to sales and, and promotions and this kind of, um, this kind of uh, sales. And uh, actually Forbes uh, reported that 2018 uh, Black Friday uh, weekend was 25% uh, more sales compared to, to last year, to 2017. So it's getting bigger. This is a Google Trends. Uh, so it's a, a, an easy way to measure popularity Right, so we just type Black Friday, and uh, this is 2004, and this is 2018. So it's an easy way to see that the this term is uh, being searched. Uh, another one: uh, digital plays an important role in the in the Black Friday, uh, and uh, a lot of a lot of people uh, buy using internet and desktop and mobile, but. Um, even if we don't consider the place orders, uh, a lot of people um, search, uh, research, compare. Sometimes they buy uh, digitally and go to the store to pick the package up. So uh, digital is an important uh, role in the Black Friday. And uh, as I mentioned, it's not um, an American thing. So here it's the same Black Friday, but only 2018. And we can see that America, and interesting, uh, is there some, somebody from South Africa here? Nobody? Yeah, because it's the country that ranks the most in the Google, Google Trends. I don't know why, well, okay. So uh, South Africa, South America, Europe. Uh, actually in France, it was, um, I believe 2,000 percent more searches this year compared to, to last year. So, um, and I just one point that uh, uh, have you heard about the Singles Day in China? Yeah, uh, in just one day, uh, 25 billion dollars. So the Cyber Monday in the U.S. it was eight, uh, almost eight billion dollars. So just for you to have a glimpse of. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, this is another uh, interesting chart. The black, uh, the black ball here is a, a, an average a day in terms of uh, number of orders placed. Uh, this one is Cyber Monday, and this one is on Black Friday. So in the United Kingdom, it represented 3.8 times the number of uh, orders placed. Here in France, it was 3.36 times the number of uh, orders placed. Okay, uh, and the last point here is that uh, mobile also plays an important role. Uh, this year, in 2018, uh, it, it uh, accounted for 67% of uh, all the traffic and 49% of the orders placed. So a lot of people, uh, is not only uh, searching uh, using the mobile and then going to the desktop to close the order, they are finishing the order uh, using mobile. So this is according to Salesforce Analytics. Uh, and Sensidia, uh, in our cloud infrastructure, 
during the Black Friday uh, holiday, uh, we registered uh, at 3.1 uh, uh, time the total API traffic. So it's an important uh, season for us. Um, before moving to, to the lessons itself, uh, I'd like to just give you a brief uh, overview about Insidia. Uh, all we do are, is related to, to APIs. Uh, we provide an API platform and also consulting services um, in all the API life cycles. So we help our clients to design good APIs, to protect the APIs, and to manage them. Um, I don't know if you guys watched the, um, the Paolo Malinverno keynote this morning. So Sensidia is uh, uh, covered in that uh, magic quadrant as a visionary. Okay, and uh, we run a, a large uh, API event in Latin America as well. Okay, so this is just uh, a lot of uh, clients, but I'm going to concentrate in e-commerce and retail and especially payments. Those are the client operations that are, are most related to, to the Black Friday. So let's, let's dig into the, to the lessons. Um, and those lessons were collected on a, an API perspective, obviously, because that's what Sensidia does. Uh, but before entering the, um, the five, there is one bonus uh, lesson, which is uh, Black Friday is not about Friday anymore. Most of our clients started uh, shooting promotions uh, uh, earlier in the, in the week. So Wednesday was a, a pretty high um, uh, API traffic for us. Uh, Thursday, spe uh, specifically during midnight and the, uh, in the beginning of, uh, of Friday. And Friday was the highest traffic, um, more than in Cyber Monday. So this is... Uh, and everything, if you're going to plan for the Black Friday, uh, it, it's good to know that you have to plan for several days, not only one day. Okay, so it's not Friday, weekend, week, or Black November. There are some promotions saying Black November and this kind of stuff. All right. Um, so the, the um, lesson learned, and uh, number one, was we started uh, defining the key APIs for our, uh, with our clients. So it's difficult to focus on everything. So we need to discuss with our clients which APIs were the most important for them. Um, and we can do that using a lot of different attributes. Uh, with our technical background, we can, um, we can just introspect into the traffic that our platform is handling. And uh, in terms of API calls and the volume of API calls, you can uh, understand w which are the most invoked APIs or the large payload size that if we consider that the traffic will go up, large payload size can bring trouble. Uh, latency, error rate, so those are the technical aspects of uh, prioritizing the APIs. But we meet with our clients, the, the, the larger uh, e-commerce operations, and uh, ask them which, w which APIs were the most important in terms of business. So logging, um, uh, cart management, shopping cart management, payment, uh, order placement, so those were some of the examples. And uh, we could track that uh, on our platform, in the monitoring part of the platform, and also in the, uh, in the management console. Uh, so this was the, the first lesson. Start, uh, try to focus on the most important things. Uh, the second one was to s uh, simulate and optimize. We started uh, more than two months before the, the Black Friday weekend. So uh, with the help of our clients, we tried to simulate uh, the forecasted uh, traffic they, they were point pointing out. Uh, normally, business users, they don't know about API traffic or payload or something like this. Uh, they only know about the number of users sometimes, sometimes forecasted sales. So uh, we asked them for those business metrics and help them to 
to translate that in terms of API calls. Uh, and then we schedule some uh, stress tests using their own apps uh, to stress the infrastructure, uh, our API management platform, obviously, but also uh, their own uh, their own backend systems. And um, there were some, some important aspects in terms of optimization. Uh, the first one was uh, caching. Um, normally, e-commerce operations, they are very skilled in terms of caching strategies. They use cache, cache a lot. Uh, and the API layer is another layer that you can uh, use use caching uh, to avoid going to the backend um, unnecessarily. Uh, uh, the second one was to set uh, throttling to kind of a circuit breaking to uh, avoid the backend system from, from, uh, from crashing. So we went the number of users up high and when the backend system stopped responding or the latency try to uh, start going up, we can just circuit break and do not break everything, break only uh, some part of the, of the flow. Um, the other one is, uh, was to optimize the payload. Sometimes the company does not design the API beautifully, uh, or sometimes they design the API for the web client and they reuse the API for the mobile client, and they start just um, just using the same payloads with a lot of unnecessary information. And you can uh, optimize the, the payload to avoid that. So that was one important step uh, also. Uh, so here is uh, one example of an interface that you can use rate limit, payload size, cache, spike arrest, this kind of of uh, thing that uh, uh, an API management platform can provide to you, not only Syncedia's, obviously. Uh, other thing that uh, latency is normally um, a very important aspect that can break things out, uh, and uh, is important to be able to set aggressive timeouts, um, especially when you have a lot of users simultaneously accessing your your app. Uh, this is an important uh, this is an important configuration that you you might use. Uh, sometimes, uh, even if you use a cloud infrastructure that can goes automatically up and down, uh, sometimes you need to uh, warm up the infrastructure. For example, for some operations that we knew that uh, they are going to have a high peak uh, number of users, we can start. Uh, putting more API gateways to that infrastructure uh, beforehand, right? Uh, and our res resilient system uh, rely a lot on, on circuit breakers. So, for example, this is a regular website, uh, a lot of information here, but you can, if you do the circuit breaking uh, architecture correctly, if something goes wrong, it's very important for you to keep at least the characteristics, picture, and add to cart, right? You can rip a lot of other things out. So this is just a pattern. So that was number two. That was uh, um, simulate and optimize. The three uh, does not relate to, to technology. It relates to people. Uh, so to support this operation, we had uh, a team uh, over there and uh, getting the team in the mood. So we have to prepare the softest stuff. So the t-shirt, drinks, uh, drinks, the Red Bull and, and, soft, and soft drinks, uh, food, uh, the beer only after the weekend, right? And, uh, and s also to set the communication channels. So we, we put a, a, a specific channel in the, uh, using Slack uh, for internal communication and also for communication with our clients. Uh, we open a Zoom uh, video room for uh, a war room uh, video monitoring. Also, a lot of announcements using Workplace. So th those were some of the pictures of the team that uh, spend um, most of the times over there. So it was a long uh, 
uh, long weekend, so we did a lot of rotation. So, and uh, we had to transfer context when we did it, the rotation. Uh, people sh must be problem solvers, uh, so it's sometimes it's very difficult to to capture uh, the the signals from the noise uh, because a lot of alerts or, or, or uh, a lot of monitoring stuff can just uh, send you a lot of stuff, so it's not easy to, to capture the signals. Uh, number four, um, monitoring and firefighting. Uh, when, um, when we are, uh, the first step that was identifying the key APIs uh, are very important in terms of monitoring because you can create uh, specific dashboards and alerts for your key APIs. So if you go beyond or below uh, some specific thresholds, they can get notified. So this is uh, an important part. So we created uh, with our clients, we help them to create uh, specific dashboards for their uh, key APIs, key API operations. We help them to adjust logs because as I mentioned, uh, if you log everything, you will be floated with a lot of false, false positives, probably. And uh, you must be very proactive because uh, a lot of minor stuff happen. So you must be able to reach the person responsible for a specific backend system that stopped responding or, or uh, started to send only 500 uh, status code, for example. Okay, and number five, the last one, is to celebrate the results. And uh, this is also easier when you start with the uh, with it identifying the, the KPIs that we are going to pursue. So uh, collecting shared results, uh, we had zero major uh, incidents. Uh, that was very good. It was a tense time for us there. Uh, it helped us to get closer to our uh, key clients. So when you establish this kind of partnership, this uh, uh, transparent relationship, it, it gets very good. Um, as I mentioned, our total API traffic was uh, uh, a, lot, a lot more than we were uh, expecting. Uh, the spikes, uh, we had some clients that went f uh, 40, uh, 14 times the number of the gateway instance that were handling the, the, the calls. And uh, most of our clients succeed on their uh, sales forecasts. So this is also important for us, not that we survived, but that they uh, thrived, right? So, and now we are, uh, we and our clients are um, extra confident for the Christmas season, right? Okay, so just to finish here, the five uh, lessons we learned. The first one, to define our key APIs. Um, second one, simulate and optimize. This one was by far the more time consuming uh, for us. We started more than two months um, before the, the Black Week. Uh, to adjust the team, to get everybody uh, in the room. Uh, monitoring and firefighting, so we had special dashboards and special reports and, and alerts. And after that, to celebrate the results. Okay? That was it. Thank you very much. <laughs>